Welcome back, dear learners. Before the ad break, we defined trading account in profit and loss account. What we have now is a post adjustment trial balance, and we want to prepare the trading account. Let us begin. Here is my trading account. The first thing that I will have in my trading account is sales. So I'll start with my sales. And here is my sales, which is 952,500. So I'll come here. And then I'll take the sales, which is 952,500. Then I must subtract what we call debtors allowances, debtors allowances. So I'll look now in my nominal account section. One of the most important things you have to remember is when you are preparing a trading account, you will get your information from the nominal account section of the trial balance. So for your trading account, we will not look at the balance sheet account section, but we will focus at the nominal accounts section, not the balance sheet account section, but the nominal accounts section. When we're in the nominal account section, that's where you see your sales. And remember, we've spoken about sales, which is 952,500. Then we have to come and subtract what are known as debtors allowances. There is our debtors allowances. 21,630. So you see here, I have a minus, minus 21,630. I must subtract my debtors' allowances. So in your calculator, if you say 952,500 minus 21,630, that would then give you 930,000 870, 930,870. When you have this, you then come to the debit side of your account. On the debit side of your account, you will have cost of sales, cost of sales. And your cost of sales is given. Remember, we're in the nominal accounts section. Your cost of sales is given. 620,580. So you come here, you get your cost of sales, 620,580. You subtract your cost of sales. The next thing you then do is to look for the side with the highest amount. All right? The side with the highest amount. So here you have 620,580. But here you have 930,870. So these are two different amounts. So we want to close off this account. You look for the side with the highest amount, and the highest amount is 930,870. You bring it down here, 930,870. You also come here, 930,870. Then, you then say, you 930,870 minus your 620,580. That is how you get your gross profit. Let me show it. I'm going to write it down. I'm just going to come here. And then, just so you can remember this, I have said 620,580, which is your cost of sales. Are you still with me? I have subtracted that from your 930,870. So once you subtract, 620,580 from 930,870. That is how you end up with 310,290. You have to subtract your 620,580 from your 930,870. That is where you end up now with 310,290. That is what we call our gross profit. And we will then close this account off to the profit and loss, to the profit and loss account. So you see, when I do the profit and loss, I will then bring this 310,290 as well. I'll consider it when I am doing my profit and loss account. Dear learners, let's go for an ad break.